round three, and this time I'm making the French 75, a drink that's so good the first time I had it, I actually started laughing. No joke, I did. And you will too, if you make it right. Now, five minutes of research will tell you there's a lot of discussion about how this drink should be made. Do I use gin? Do I use cognac? This video says it goes in a champagne flute, while this blog says it goes in a Collins glass. Are you confused yet? I am. Thanks, Internet. What the fuck is the Internet? Look, I'll leave provenance to historians. I'm going to show you my preferred way of making this drink, but first, a word about ingredients. Gin, lemon, simple, champagne. Depending on your source, this drink is either a sour with a champagne float or a Collins with champagne instead of soda. No matter where you stand, a couple things are worth discussing. First, gin or cognac. Doesn't really matter. I order one or the other depending on my mood, but I'm using gin today because that's what I'm in the mood for. Also, I'm gonna say it. I think gin makes the best drink. If you think I'm wrong, make your own damn video. Second, champagne. For this drink, you cannot use cava or prosecco. Champagne is ideal, but really anything with the word brute on the label will work, as long as you didn't have to bend over to get it off the shelf. But if there was ever a drink to break out the champagne for, this is it. Trust me on this. Okay, with all that out of the way, this is how I make this drink. Start with an ounce and a half of gin, preferably London Dry. Add three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, an ounce of simple, shake, and strain into a flute. Top with your bubbles and garnish with a lemon peel. Again, this is not the only way to make this drink, nor am I going to say that it's the definitive way, but it is my favorite. Cheers. Until you've had this, there really isn't a way to explain just how good this drink is. Herbaceousness from the gin, citrus from the lemon, effervescence from the champagne. This is a drink and a half. Man. And yes, this is a little booze heavy for an AM drink, and you could always adjust for that by cutting back on the gin, but holy smokes, is this good. Lastly, if you're going to go to the trouble of assembling the ingredients for this, you might as well get a bottle of cognac and try it both ways. A quick word about what's been going on with me personally. Bars were ordered once again to shut down this week and a handful of people reached out to me asking me if I'm out of work again. Turns out my place is classified as a restaurant and we're allowed to stay open provided we only have seating outside. Other people have asked me if between the precautions that the owners have taken and the behavior of the guests if I feel safe and the answer is yes, I do. I did get a COVID test today for the first time and we'll have to get one every month going forward. Let you know how that goes. I guess the hardest part of this whole episode is how uneven everything is. Every week and sometimes every day it seems like there are new guidelines to follow. But that's the reality of the situation. Not to overuse a phrase, but these times are uncertain. So yes, I still have a job, I am still working, and I'm happy about that. If you liked it at like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Stay safe, follow the advice professionals, and I'll see you soon.